Hi there, students. Callow. Okay, callow describes a young person who's naive and inexperienced. Okay, this is a really good word to add to your vocabulary, to use in your exam writing. This is a different word. It's not a word that most native speakers normally use, but they will understand it, maybe. I think the most common collocation is a callow youth. A youth is a young person. And I would suggest that is the collocation that you use. He was a callow youth and had no understanding of the ways of the world. He was an inexperienced, unsophisticated, and had no experience in life. Okay, this word also has a few other meanings, but these are much more unusual, and I would suggest not using them like this. So, a callow, or callow, as an adjective, talks about a bird that is unfledged, a fledgling. Okay, a fledgling is a bird that has emerged from the nest, but it's still unable to fly. It doesn't have its feathers properly grown. And that is a callow, or an adjective, a callow bird. Also, you can use callow to talk about um, a brick that has not been fired. So, a brick to build a building, well, a callow is a brick that it hasn't been fired yet, so it's not uh, hard. And also, a callow is a floodplain, a low-lying area that cat that is liable to flooding an alluvial flat if you like but for my money please use callow just to mean naive and inexperienced um this company likes to employ callow uh young people because they're cheap yeah you see the spotty callow youth serving hamburgers in mcdonald's okay like that you don't have to pay much money so some more examples uh callow undergraduates who arrive at university uh and they have no experience in life they probably go out and get drunk and run around and do all sorts of crazy things um stop making such callow comments mm, try to ask some questions that have that show that you have some understanding his callow behavior is incredible for a person of that age he really needs to grow up so formality this is a formal literary word i would not use callow in a in an informal conversation yeah um in an informal conversation inexperienced green without any experience something like that use this in your exam writing it'll show that uh, you are not a callow user of the English language okay so callow what about the origin well this word callow probably comes from calvus Latin bald b-a-l-d meaning having no hair and I think from that they've moved to our unfledged bird our bird that doesn't have its feathers grown yet and hence immature so callow inexperienced a callow youth a callow
callow undergraduate, such callow behaviour. We normally use it like that as an adjective. And then it has one or two other meanings, but ignore those. Yeah, just something for you to know. So, callow. A really good formal word meaning inexperienced, without experience in life. So anyway, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Callow.